Hi, I'm Ali from ahan.co.uk. Google announced their plans to shake up the gaming world with Stadia, the cloud gaming platform based on AMD GPU architecture. The plan is to innovate in the gaming space just like they have in other sectors. This video will take a look at how Google Stadia matches up with Nvidia's GeForce Now. Google and Nvidia aren't the first ones to enter the cloud gaming market. Back in 2009, OnLive was launched but then closed up shop a few years later in 2015. Microsoft and Sony are both planning on releasing similar services. Will Google and Nvidia be able to keep this alive unlike their predecessors? Let's see how Google Stadia compares with Nvidia's GeForce Now. Let's start with the controllers. Nvidia doesn't have a controller solely aimed at GeForce Now, but they do have a shield controller that works with PC or your shield TV. Both controllers support multiple platforms. Both controllers support the standard button configuration, which is the same arrangement as the Xbox controller. Both controllers have built-in microphones. Nvidia's microphone can be always listening and act as a Google Home if you enable the feature. Feedback from Google gets shown on the TV screen. Stadia's controller has a button for Google Assistant. This will allow you to pause the game and use Google Assistant to do a quick search on the internet for some help. Stadia controller uses Wi-Fi to minimize latency between you and the game you're playing. The Shields controller uses Bluetooth to conserve more battery power whilst the always on microphone feature is enabled. Stadia's controller has a dedicated button to record or broadcast live to YouTube. On the Nvidia controller you can hold down the home button and start broadcasting live to Twitch or record your gameplay and then do whatever you want with the footage. Let's move on to games. Google has laid out the plan for the Stadia platform. They have comprehensive features that game developers have to buy into. The games will have to work with on Linux, which is the OS that Stadia is based on. Uh, games will not be compatible unless the developer supports Stadia. Stadia is based on PC architecture, so it will be unlikely that game developers don't adopt the new platform. So far, the most popular games that have been announced for Stadia is Doom and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Nvidia's GeForce Now is a lot more established as they've been beta testing their service since 2017. Nvidia first released GeForce Now on macOS and then shortly after on Windows and Chill TV in 2018. From the get-go, Nvidia seems to have the advantage as they support more games. You can play most of your PC games on GeForce Now. Google Stadia is using cloud architecture with Intel CPUs and AMD GPUs. It will be more powerful than any current generation console, but the graphics fidelity won't be able to match Nvidia's high-end graphics cards. Stadia is currently being marketed as Xbox and PlayStation alternatives that is more versatile than conventional consoles. Each gaming session will have access to 16 gigabytes of RAM and SSD cloud storage. Stadia will support 1080p at 60 frames per second and 4K at 60 frames per second. Nvidia's cloud platform has custom made racks with P40 Tesla graphics cards. These graphics cards are made for professional use primarily. Uh, Nvidia hasn't stated that they plan on supporting it 4K resolutions just yet, but it's still in beta and anything can change once it's fully released. The highest resolution leaves a lot to be desired. The graphics quality on GeForce Now easily outdoes anything on Xbox and PlayStation, but it doesn't support 4K yet, so a true comparison cannot be made. The potential latency on both platforms can make most people skeptical. Even with a fast internet connection, there's going to be lots of other factors that could cause latency, such as Wi-Fi speed. Both platforms look promising. The ease of Stadia sounds more appealing, whereas the amount of games that GeForce Now supports might make it a winner. Prices for Stadia haven't been announced yet. Nvidia did say GeForce Now will cost you $25 for 20 hours of gameplay. 
but I think it might change once it's fully released. Let me know what you think about Google Stadia and GeForce Now down in the comments below. Don't forget to visit my website ahan.co.uk. I've got loads of articles that are covering most of the new tech in the industry right now. And also my app is on the Play Store. I'll leave a link in the description.